Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Oakfield Farm here on Farming Simulator 17 and first of all, Happy New Year, this is the first video of 2018 so I've been away with my family, I'm sure you guys have been doing the same, spending it with your family and uh, but yeah, now we are back, so we're jumping straight into it today this John Deere that we borrowed from the main yard has, uh, well the 8R, so he's finished cultivating this field here so this one is now ready to drill so we have this John Deere for one more day um, so we're going to go ahead and take this back to the yard, switch over to the seed drill. Uh, we do actually have to go and get a couple more things, so we're not just doing that today, so stay tuned. The Hilux come out to uh, help us get stuck, un get unstuck, sorry. We got stuck in the mud the other day, so we had to put the dual wheels on. So with that said, actually, I need to jump in to this real quick, and let's go ahead and get a start up. We'll get it warmed up right now. Let's go ahead and open the boot hatch here, like so. Now, somewhere in here, I'm going to have to use the mouse for this. Somewhere in here is the toolbox. Like, we've got here. I don't know why the straps are like that. That must be a bug with something. Come on, get out. Right, there we go. A little bit fidgety to get out, but we've got to... So, obviously, we need to take the dual wheels off. Now, I much preferred the way this worked in FS15 with the mods. We had to uh, bring over a front loader or something and then take it off, put it onto a pallet. But this is FS17, a little bit different now. Um, so I believe we do Alt R. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and get the dual wheels off. We'll put them back on to the normal teleboard wheels. Customized is going to cost us nothing. And does a little bit of a jump there when we do that. And she's back to normal. Cool. So let's get the toolbox put back in to the pickup truck. Like so. That would work. Um, I need to reset the head track. And watch why the camera's all messed up on the interior. Don't worry about that. Right, we get the boot hatch closed, and this will come down and follow us in a second, but we're taking the John Deere down, so let's go ahead and jump into this. We need to actually hook it up again, because when you customise vehicles, as I'm sure you guys know, it disconnects it. Um, well, I think that's good. Has that worked? Yep, I believe it has. Cool. So let's jump in, and we'll get the head tracking reset real quick. There we go. Hopefully it's still recording, or else I'm going to rage quit. Um, I had to quickly tap out a game there. So let's go ahead and get the John Deere booted up. Um, that should be ready to go. Now, we are using manual gearbox for those of you that missed episode number one. All right, see if we can do this. That is reverse John Deere. Why are you reversing? Like, clutch. I take it tractors in real life don't have uh, hill start stuff then. All right, let's drop it down into this. We've probably got our beacon lights on as well while we're here. And I believe we're away. Cool. All right, so we're going to head stop here real quick. We'll get the hazard lights on. I believe we've got a handbrake. There we go. So I've mapped out this button here. You guys can't see it. This one here is now the handbrake. You can see the icon there on the bottom right screen, right at the very, very top. Right. So let's go ahead and get this one up here on to follow me. I have forgot to turn on sprint mode on the steering wheel. So for those of you that don't know, the other day we did a random little live stream where I was asking everyone to help me map out my controls. Because for some reason... All of my controls got lost, which is a little bit annoying. Um, right, let's get this thing into reverse here. Like so. Forward. And we'll get it run to follow me. Right, ready? That should do. 20 should be enough. Don't crash into us. You're going to, aren't you? Yes, you are. Right, that should we do. So we'll jump back in, we'll drive down to the yard. Like I said, we have to quickly nip somewhere else. Oh, handbrake. Forgot about that. All right. Clutch in. And we are away. Turn the hazard lights off, isn't it? G4. Awesome. So yeah, once again, sorry it's been a while. I've just been enjoying Christmas. I'm sure you guys have as well. Didn't really want to be uh, sat in front of my computer for the whole of the Christmas holidays, but... Uh, yeah, how are you guys doing? Welcome back. So today we're heading to the store, first of all, because like I said, we're using the seed drill. We're going to borrow this John Deere for one more day, and then we're going to be using our own tractors. Should be quite fun. So once again, if you missed episode number one, I recommend you go check that out to see what exactly what's going on. Basically, in layman's terms, which means in short, we don't own the farm. We just work for the main farm, and our yard is this one down here, the, 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 uh, the pig farm. This is the one we work out of. We've got our own tractors. This John Deere is not one of them. Um, but we are soon getting the budget to buy a new tractor. So I'm thinking Fent. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. But yeah, I'm thinking uh, Fent, personally. Right, let's go ahead and park this thing. Where should we put her? Um, tell you what, we'll go down the bottom here. It's probably going to be the best, best way to do this. 
Right in here. It's a bit of a tight squeeze here. Someone's parked the T6 right next to the entrance. Right, excuse me. How can you? Right, we'll leave this here for now. Uh, right about here. We'll get it put away all later on. Put it into neutral. Handbrake on. Let's go ahead and jump around here and get this disconnected, like so. Cool. Don't know where the pickup truck's gone. We seem to have lost the uh, the Hilux. But um, yeah, today we're going to be using the T6. This one here, we're going to take this down to the store with the front loader on and hopefully collect our pallets. Where's that pickup truck gone? Okay, the, the uh, Hilux parked on the other side. That's fine. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the T6 real quick. So this is one of our tractors. The John Deere in front's also ours, and we got a Ford T-Dub as well. Why is all the diff locks and stuff on? Let's get them turned off. That's not working. Why is that not working? There we go. Right, get this into reverse real quick. Clutch in. And we'll reverse out of here. Now we need to go all the way around to the other side here. Right, so we're going to go all the way around here, isn't it? So I just had to close the office door there. Right, so the trailer we need is down this middle section here where the top of it was parked. Let's go ahead and get this front load lift up and I'll show you why in a second well, when we get to the yard actually. I thought we need to load it down again because there's a little bit of a pipe we don't want to crash into. So that's where the uh, toilet decided to, I say park, it was actually crashed when I found it but whatever it's parked now. So let's go ahead and we'll clutch, leave the clutch out when it will get her into reverse again. Get the camera rotated around and we need to take this chieftain trailer down to the store. We're going to put a few seed pallets on there. Bring them back, fill up the seed drill and we'll take the John Deere out to do that. So once again, if you did miss episode number one, yeah, we're using seasons mod, so everything has to be done within six days. I got it on six day seasons, because I personally think it's better to have too much days than not enough days. So at least, we probably could have done it in three, but at least six gives us a little bit of headroom. I think nine days beyond was a little bit too much, but we're going to have to do a little uh, three point turn thing here. Clutch in. Why is it not moving? We stuck. Oh, fantastic. Four wheel drive. Well, that's a, uh, that's a. That's an issue for sure. <laughs> that's why has that happened? Well, never mind. We'll get it reversed in a minute. Like so. Time four wheel drive off again. Now, I'm not sure why my drive control stuff's been unnapped. I may have forgot to do that. Like the four wheel drive and the diff lock stuff. I thought we had some on here, but apparently not. Right, so let's go ahead and we'll indicate out of here. My beacon lights on? No, they are now. Let's get them turned on real quick. So, let me just, before we head off, I believe you're meant to drive like this in real life, if you've got a front loader on. Don't quote me on that. You guys tell me in the comment section whether I'm right or wrong. But I think you have to have drive with it up, but then point it downwards. All right, there we go. Let's get her into whatever gear this is. I believe this is top one. So head down to the store, collect our seed pallets, and I'll meet you guys there. Right, so here we are back at the store. Oh, at the store for the first time in this episode. We are going to go ahead and park the Chieftain trailer down here real quick. Um, this should do nicely. We'll get her into neutral. Get the trailer disconnected. Now, there's a couple things we need to do. We are using the more realistic mods, so we have to take weight into consideration and all that good stuff. So we're going to come over here. We're going to disconnect the front weight. A couple of controls that I forgot to map out from when my game corrupted, which uh, I'm taking note of, don't worry. So if you see me reach over the keyboard, that's why. Um, oh, hang on a minute. I'm still in reverse here. Right, let's go ahead and put that in. To forwards. Back into reverse. And we're going to hooked up to the back. So this is hopefully going to balance us enough that we're not going to tip over when we're using the front loader. But I believe we are now ready to go. There we go. Back into forwards. And we'll start loading up these. So we've only got four. I feel like four is going to be enough for now at least. Um, we'll get the straps thrown over. I don't know if it actually has straps, this trailer. But I think it's got locking script, which is just as good. Just as good. Uh, right, there we go. Back. You, know, you have to put it into reverse twice on this automatic setup. I'm not exactly sure why. Right, there we go. Let's get these. Ooh, too high. Right, let's try that again. Lower, lower, lower. Right, put it into camera mode as well. There we go. That's more like it. 
I could do this in third person, so one, it's easier for me and I don't take so long doing it, and two, so you guys actually get something to look at as opposed to just down the bonnet of the tractor. Right here. No, missed it. Come on, Sim. I'm a bit rusty, as you guys can tell. I'm still in the Christmas mood. Not the Christmas mood, but the holiday mood here. I'm a little bit forgotten how to life at the moment. Just life in general. But there we go. That's more like it. Got our first one hooked up there. Let's get it jacked up like that. And um, we're going to start loading from the front. Like so. Awesome. So sorry I didn't do a live stream on New Year's Day. One, it's New Year's Day, so a lot of people, including myself, are probably a bit, a little bit raw, a little bit vulnerable. But um, also, I don't think it'd have been that busy because it's New Year's Day. A lot of people are doing stuff. But um, yeah, sorry about that. I hope you guys don't mind too well. If you were sat there waiting for a stream, then I do apologize. Probably should have put out a tweet or a Facebook message saying I wouldn't be live streaming. In fact, I can do it on the YouTube channel now. I forgot about that. I always forget about that community tab, which uh, I'm still not exactly sure how it works, but apparently you guys get the messages, so clearly it does work, I just don't know how. Alright, let's go ahead and collect the next one real quick. I love this tractor, this is a beautiful tractor. Oh gosh, clutch in. This clutch is very, uh, it's not very forgiving, that's for sure. You can't like slowly let it out. As soon as you let it out, just a tiny bit, it jumps forward. Like that. <laughs> oh dear. Right, there we go, we got the... Yeah, I'm not still not 100% used to this clutch. It doesn't work like a car at all. Maybe there's any real-life farmers here. You can tell me if it's like that in real life or not. Is it that unforgiving in real life too? Because definitely, definitely not like a car clutch, that's for sure. Right, let's get this one loaded up here now. I'm going to use this one to push that one out the way. And we should have a nice little stack on the front there. Let's go ahead and move the camera around a little bit here. Like so. Right, up, over, come on, this is clutch, I need you to be a little bit more gentle, please. There we go. Clutch in. Get her into reverse. No! Ah, dang it. Oh well, that'll do. Right, we'll get these final two loaded up, and we'll hit the road. Okay, so we've just got the final two loaded up now. I did give him a little nudge as well, so they did straighten up a little bit. They're still a little bit wonky, but it'll do for now. Um, did I actually map this out? Yes, I did. So I can now do this on my wheel, which is pretty cool. So get these straps thrown over. I think that's all the ones that we need today. Cool. So let's quickly put the weight back onto the front of the tractor. We'll then hook up the trailer and we'll head back to the farm. So like I said, we are using the John Deere one last time. Or the other John Deere one last time. And then hopefully we'll be able to do the rest ourselves. So we get that taken off right now. Get the front loader lifted up here. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Let's see if I can do this without actually putting it into reverse. Because reverse is a bit of a pain with this gearbox mod because you have to like press it twice or something. It's strange. Very strange. And there we go. We got it. Right. And we'll reverse back into the trailer. And then hopefully... Actually, we're even going to be reverse out of here. We'll soon find out soon find out. I do like this new version of the uh, Chieftain trailer though. It's got a little log there so it actually sits pretty level which I really like because before it was a bit slanted. There we go. The log should disappear now. There we go. Alright. Are we still in reverse? Yes we are. So we're going to go ahead and try and reverse this way without jackknifing. Not a very big turning circle on this trailer though. That's the only thing because it's a low loader. It's not that forgiving unfortunately. Right, there we go. Take her out of reverse, into forward, and we're away. So I just need to quickly reset the uh, front loader as, as well. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so yeah, we'll head back to the yard and... Uh, oh, sorry. Mr. Bronco, we're going to go around. I think it's going to be safe if we go around past Auction David's burger van here. For those of you who haven't seen this, this is Auction David's new business. This is what he does when he's not mapping. David's Tasty Burgers. Right, out of here. And we're away. Right, everybody, so we're now back at the, uh, the, well, not the main yard. This is our yard. Our main yard, at least. And um, we're going to park right about here. I think we'll get the beacon lights off. They're really bright on this, uh, 
this lighting version of seasons that I got here. All right, let's turn the T6 off a minute. Handbrake on. Uh, we'll quickly get the straps off as well whilst we're here. Hopefully they'll fall off. What is going on here? Stuck in a bush. Cool. So as you could probably guys could probably tell as well, my voice is not all there. It's been a rough New Year's Eve. Let's put it that way. Some of you guys may know what that means. Some of you guys, well, yeah, never mind. Right, so we'll jump into the John Deere. We left the beacons running. Hopefully the tractor's not dead. Oh, she's good. Right, handbrake off. Get her into gear. Right, so then we hit up the seed drill. Now, the other yard, the main yard, does have a uh, bigger seed drill, but we're going to use ours just so it's not sat there rotting away. Right. Oh, yeah, this one works different. Then. You have to put it in reverse, then you have to choose a gear, which is pretty weird. Here we go. So here's our seed drill. So as you can see, we've got the old and the new here. There's our John Deere, and this is the main yard John Deere. So safe to say they've got a little bit better equipment than us. But I do not... Well, with this, to be fair, our tractors could run this, especially the T-Dub, this uh, seed drill. But we want to use our own equipment. So we're using our seed drill with their tractor. Hopefully it works all right. right let's go ahead and... Can we get around here without hitting? I think we're going to make it. But yeah, we made it. We made it. Cool. Now what we're going to do is... I'm uh, not... Mm, what we're going to do here... Tell you, tell you what we'll do. We'll get this moved here. I think that's going to be the best solution. Right. Handbrake on. We'll leave her running. Just so that... Uh, oh, did that open? I need to open that real quick. I forgot what button it is. Uh... I'll just use keyboard and mouse. There we go. Oh, he's facing the wrong way. Dang it. Right, okay, so we had to reposition the John Deere just a little bit, just because the uh, the hatch and the seed drill opened the opposite direction to what I thought. So, right, let's go ahead and get this hitch removed. We'll get the log and stuff put back underneath the hitch. Um, let's just do Q, because I don't... Actually, mm, it does work with the style panel. Cool. Right, that's all ready to go now. Jump back in to the T6. And hopefully we can get some of these loaded up. All right, handbrake off, engine on. All right, let's get this spun around real quick. All right, now the reason we're going right past this is once again we have to do the weight malarkey. So we'll get that disconnected. We'll put her into reverse. I need to make my head track a little bit more sensitive, I think, so we can actually do the reverse stuff. Right, into forwards again. Um, what way are we going to go? This way. We'll park in here, I think. And reverse out. Cool. So there we go. We can finally start working on this loading malarkey. So for those of you that uh, don't really know what's going on while we're doing going through all this effort, uh, this is... Me trying to be a little bit more realistic compared to my other series, so we're going to try and do everything manually and stuff like that. We have to take weather in consideration. We've got the more realistic mod. We've got first we've got we got seasons mod. We've got the gearbox mod. Um, so yeah, this one's the ridiculously realistic one. The bit that some people probably aren't going to enjoy because it's a little bit too much. But um, the other series is not going to be like this. Don't worry. Um, go. We got a first one here. Get it lifted up. A little bit wonky, but it's about to disappear now anyway. There we go. Get that spun. Oh, I'm in the wrong mode here. Right, there we go. Right, we'll load up our first... Our first pallet. Right, okay, so we're now ready to set off. Finally, so I'll show you. We're going to the other end of the field. So a nearby farm had to sell some of their fields because they couldn't afford to pay staff and stuff to actually get them done. So we've now picked up some slack. So we're going to field number, I think it's 35. Um, so it's quite a drive away, but it shouldn't take too long. So we need to come out of... Actually, no, we need to follow it up. Okay, I get. I know how to get there now. We need to follow the road up past the field that we just cultivated all the way up to the top. So yeah, it's not, not a difficult drive at all. Let's go ahead and get the handbrake off. Uh, we'll get it into... I think we can pull off in G3 for now. It's getting a little bit dark. As you can see, it is about to rain, so we need to do this as quick as possible. Did we close the hatch? Yes, we did. Cool. 
So yeah, if any of you guys have any suggestions or whatever to uh, make this a little bit of a more realistic series, feel free to let me know. Now, there was a few people that said get rid of Gearbox mod. I'm not going to do that because this is... Uh, Gearbox mod's a mod that I personally want to use for a while but never knew how to. Like, all the controls are a bit complicated. Um, of all the mods that I could uninstall, I think I'd rather get rid of more realistic. Um, once again, I am just playing farm sim to make it fun for me so i'm not going to get rid of gearbox pod unfortunately i'm enjoying it bit of a learning curve but i am enjoying it, it definitely adds a bit more depth to using your tractors and stuff um i think if, once again if there's any mods i'm going to delete it's probably going to be more realistic because it's just it's a great mod it just doesn't feel that i don't know i've never driven a tractor with heavy equipment on the back but it just makes hills pretty much impossible unfortunately um, maybe they'll make a fix for it one day, who knows. In fact, they need to update that after this, because I did see there was an update, but I was already in game ready to go. Right, so that's the field we cultivated at the end of the last episode, which we just started the video out on. Oh gosh, we're off the road a little bit. So, if I get the map up onto small, it should be on our left in a second, the field that we want. Right, the size of that field. I hate to be cultivating that. So the weather has took a turn for the worse, unfortunately. Hopefully we can get some seeding done before the rain, because it's bone dry at the moment. A little bit of moisture in the air, but bone dry nonetheless. So if it rains, we won't be able to do it, which is a shame. Right, this is our field up here. Field 35. This is the one we picked up. Well, the boss picked up, even. From the other farm that I had to sell some of theirs. And what are we going to plant here? Let's plant some canola, I think. I haven't done canola for a while, and all the other fields that we got are cereal crops. Cool. So we have GPS mod on this tractor. By the way, when I said GPS mod in the last video, some people commented saying this tractor does not have GPS because it didn't have the thing on the roof. That's not what I meant. I meant the screen. Because if we go to here, um, oh, there's, I don't know how to change the screen, but I meant there's actually a physical um, GPS computer in here. I didn't mean the little thing on the roof. Although in real life, I know you need to have the thing on the roof. But, um, yeah, you guys know what I meant. Alright, so we get this turned into here real quick. I'm just going to start off here, because we've got that little island in the middle. That is literally just a random island on this field. So it's going to be interesting trying to manoeuvre that thing. Alright. Let's rotate this camera around a minute. Hope if I put it into gear simulate. Well done, sir. Right, this should do it. We're going to unfold it here. Back into forward. Handbrake on a minute. So, on, if you haven't used the 8R, you can actually adjust the front. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Some people did say. Um, I'm still not 100% sure. So, we're just going to have it all the way up for now and hope that's the right thing to do. Right, so we're unfolded. Let's quickly go ahead and set up the GPS. Uh, get the offset taken off. We'll rotate it like that so we just missed the island so it set it to 6.6 i'm just going to double check that's the right size no it's not i don't know where it's got this 0 0.6 from but that's not right make it 5.9 there we go it should do um gps on handbrake off and let's go ahead and get it cranked up actually um i can't remember i need controls there's one And we're away, finally. So yeah, I need to, to take note of a couple of the controls that aren't working for some reason and hopefully get them working for the next video. Although it is struggling, this tractor. This is the 8R, so is our tractor really going to be able to handle Our tractor is going to be able to handle this seed drill? We may have to get a smaller seed drill, but as you can see, the map has got realistic sized fields, so it's going to be a, take a long time to seed the fields if we have to use any smaller equipment. Actually, yeah, we've got some speed now. we got some speed now. So it doesn't like that. We have to keep it in gear three, I think. That seems to be working. So the engine loads on now 100%, but we are getting some good traction. Uh, we're not getting stuck. We're doing seven miles per hour. If I go down to gear four, it speed starts falling off. I think I'll feel about to uh, about to stall out if we keep it in gear four. So yeah, we're going to keep it in gear three for now. Oh, we're at the end already. So that's not a very long field. Right, let's go ahead and stop about here, I reckon. Clutch in. Reverse. Get that lifted up. In fact, 
what we can do is it keypad seven. Yeah, here we go, here we go. So let's go ahead and switch that to GPS. Our sprayer, our sprayer is where's our sprayer? Twenty six meters. So we want to change this to twenty six, and we have to do twenty four. Uh, GPS twenty four from here. So that should put down a tram line automatically when we get to well the path it needs to be on basically. Uh, GPS off, put it out of reverse, and we're going to skip a row. Because once again, this is a little bit too big of a setup to be reversing stuff at the end of the field. So I'm thinking we're going to go try go down this one. Like that. Yeah, that's going to work. We'll do every other pass. This is what we used to do on Sandy Bay. So what we're going to do here. Right. Get into reverse real quick. Come on, John, dear. It's not even a big hill. There we go. So we're thinking about two or three headlands we're going to have to do at the end of this. But that's fine. All right, keep her in gear two for now. Uh, we'll lower it down, GPS on. And we're away. So this is going to be the one with the tram line. So as you can see on that Pro C thing on the right hand side of the screen, we've got two little red bits that's showing up on the green line on the bottom of the mod. That's showing that we're putting down a tram line. So if I zoom out, you might be able to see it. You can kind of see it. It'll show up a lot better when, uh, when the crop's growing, of course. So that basically means we can spray down it and stuff. It's going to be pretty cool. So I believe that's every three passes. So one, two, three, and then we'll have one, two, three. You get the idea. You guys know the math. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to go with time lapse some of this so you guys can actually see some work get done. You don't want to hear me rambling on for ages. So uh, I'll find a good song, sit back, relax, and uh, I'll be with you in sh a little bit. I'm going to carry on drinking my Diet Coke. Okay, ready. So uh, as you can see, the rain has has appeared. Um, the tractor's still doing okay. We're not getting stuck or anything just yet, but it's only a matter of time before the rain builds up completely, and we're gonna have to stop because we'll end up doing more damage than anything. Um, but I think we can get a couple more passes out because it's still light rain. Um, I've also forgot to turn off the hood. I didn't realise that was a big request from the last video. A lot of people want me to turn the hood off, so it's a bit more immersive. Sorry about that. Keep it off from that one. So we'll tr probably do one more pass here. So yeah, like I said, the tractor's not doing too bad. It's not struggling that much just yet. Um, but look, it's getting slower and slower and slower. That's the only thing. So I think we're going to stop at the end of here. Because like I said, I think we're going to end up doing more damage to the field than anything. Um, it's still pretty dry. It's just sort of laying on top at the moment. So luckily this drill's going down quite deep. Alright, I think we're going to leave it there. So we're pretty much at the end of the field on this side, at least. So we need to go down and do every other pass in a second. Um, we'll probably stop right here. It's getting a bit more narrow on this side. Get that lifted up. Get her in to reverse. That's the only thing that's going to be a challenge, is seeing when we're actually in reverse or not. I mean, we can't actually see the reverse lights, but... Uh, what way are we going to go here? Uh, we'll tell you what, we'll do one more pass, and then we'll head out onto the road. And we'll get this put away for today, I think. It's like I said, I don't want to do too much damage. Right, there we go. But yeah, this John Deere, quite proud of it. We've had no actual issues. Right, we'll get a lower down here, I think. Right, ready? Cool, let's go. 
Last pass. Oh, she's starting to struggle now. It's starting to get a bit damp now. We had to knock it down the gear then. Right. Ready? Are you doing it? Yeah, we're doing quite well. So yeah, the rain's getting heavier and heavier and heavier, so we are going to call it quits here. Uh, we'll just drive to the end of here and we'll head back down to yacht. So thank you very much for joining me in this episode. Not the most enjoyable. Like I said, this is only episode number two. So we've got to go ahead and get the fill or get the farm into into position where we can do what we like. We're sort of still dealing with all the starter fields at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is one of the ones we decided to take upon ourselves. Because it's quite an interesting field. It's pretty square, but at the same time we've got like the islands and stuff, which I thought would be a good challenge. Right, let's go ahead and we'll get... In fact, what we're going to do... I know we've got the hood turned off a minute, but... So real quick, actually, let's get our uh, interior lights on so we can see a bit better here. It's not going to work, is it? No, it's because we've got the hood off. I forgot IC doesn't work without the hood. Oh, well. Right, let's get this folded up a minute. And that should do it. We'll get the GPS turned off completely like so. And we'll head back. Hopefully. Right, we need our beacon lights on for sure. I'm not sure why nothing's getting dirty on this map. Maybe it's just it takes a lot, lot, a lot longer to get dirty. Um, but yeah, thank you once again for joining me. If you did enjoy, please up some. So if you did enjoy, please up my thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Where hopefully, we do a lot more fun jobs.